So these will automatically get assigned values just by the nature of the order they're defined in. So this is going to be 0, this is going to be 1, this is going to be 2, and this is going to be 3. Um, and then you can use these later in code and they'll just become these values. So it's, it's basically like you could, instead of just storing an integer value uh, with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever, you can now store a video games type of value and set it to video games dot Final Fantasy 6. Or you could set it to video games dot Blood Omen, etc. So this is a useful thing. And in this case, I've just used it to name various sound effects. So big hit, bloop, castle hit, drop, item get, land, shock wave splash, stun, shoot, etc., etc. Various sound effects that we use. And I set up some messages in our messages folder over here to handle sound playing. There we go. There's a message that's very simple. It just takes an SFX which we define as an enumerated type, and it takes a position, which can be anywhere in 3D space. Uh, this gets sent to the sound manager, which actually plays the sound with an internal function here. Uh, it creates a new sound source, plays the sound at the area you specified, and destroys it when it's done. This is a built-in destroy function that kills something after a certain uh, length of time. And you can actually find this code in the Unity script documentation, so it's nothing too crazy. This function at least, the rest of it's a bit different. So that's the basic sound effects stuff. Um, and the sound effects are created with SFXer, which is a really awesome freeware program that you can use to create retro type sound effects. What else we got here? Got a block spawner. This is just used to create the gold that gets spawned by the item blocks. And you could change the prefab in here to spawn something else. You could spawn grass, you could spawn stone, etc. Boat killer, this just kills the boats when they get off the side of the screen. Uh, it's just a big trigger box. When the boats hit it, they die. These are individual boat spawners. Um, this is a boat spawner script, but really just takes a prefab and spawns it after a certain amount of time. It does set something specifically on the boat script. This is kind of bad form. It'd be better to have a generic spawner script. Um, but when you're prototyping something on a really short uh, timeline, you can kind of get away with cheating a bit and doing stuff more explicitly. Cloud killer, this just kills clouds that come in. Again, this could be probably made generic, uh, but I didn't bother doing that. This spawns the clouds now. If you notice, the clouds are actually just represented by shadows in the world. You don't actually see the clouds. In an earlier version, you did see the clouds, and it got kind of distracting. So you can see here, there's a little shadow traveling that sort of represents a cloud. See it more in the actual game. This is just the pedestal that the cake is on top of. Uh, this is the label for Team A and Team B. It's just there in the world. This uses just a flattened cube. It's usually better to make a uh, 3D model in your favorite modeling program, in my case Blender. Just make a little quad that's only a, a one face to do 2D flat stuff. But I, I have one of those in another project that I didn't bother to include here because I could just get away with flat a cube. And I don't think I use this anymore. I used to have uh, text made all out of cubes, but I ended up replacing that with actual fonts later on. I'm not sure what these do anymore. Probably something important. These are probably used for uh, the trajectory stuff. The island actually spawns the cake. It takes in a bunch of different prefabs, and you can give them chance values from 0 to 100, and it will create a block of you know, smaller blocks, some random variations. So you can change this if you want to make it larger or smaller, um, which may make stuff run really slow. 
Oops, that's not the actual value. These values down here are set the size. So if we set this to 10, we get a wider piece of cake. Hot pockets. These are item block spawners. The item block is prefab. It gets spawned at certain time intervals. Again, these could probably be made with a generic script, but they have a specialized script instead. That's okay. That's okay, guys. Castle is a prefab. It has all these stones that you can hit and knock out, and grass that gets colored for each player. They're just built into the scene. The weapon mount is what is actually controlling the weapon. 